and welcome to OnlineLessonVideos.com. My name is Patsy O'Brien and today we're going to be looking at uh, a jig in the Irish tradition called Out on the Ocean and we're going to be accompanying that on a standard tune guitar. So I hope you enjoy the lesson and let's get down to it. One, two, three, two, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three. <laughs> So the first thing we're going to talk about here is the right hand rhythm pattern for a jig. Um, once again, and I stress this in every uh, lesson, it's all about the rhythm, it's all about the right hand and until that is solid and you're comfortable with it, um, we won't move on, and to, uh, don't move on to the left hand until you're solid in your rhythm. So uh, with that in mind, uh, I like to use a mnemonic for the rhythm um, just so that you get the feel for it without having to count and uh, we have six syllables to cover. So we use a six syllable, uh, or three, either a six syllable word um, or a three syllable word repeated. Like a friend of mine would use the word apricot and he would say apricot, 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 apricot. Uh, in Ireland we like to say rashers and sausages, rashers and sausages, rashers being fried bacon. Um, so whatever you're comfortable with, um, I'm going to use rashers and sausages and I'm going to say it and repeat it. And as I repeat it, I'm going to join it in my right hand just to get a feel. Then we're going to talk about the actual pattern used. So here I go with the rashers and sausages. Rashers and sausages, rashers and sausages, rashers and sausages, rashers and sausages. And I'm starting out on one string just to get it solid. You can do this with a metronome or by counting in your head, but it's very important that you try to keep it to an even tempo. And this is the kind of exercise you can do anywhere. You can even mute your string if you're uh, annoying anybody that seems to be hanging around. You can do this while you're watching the TV or just sitting around. And the important thing is to get that rhythm nice and solid. And you can get it start as slow as you want, for instance, rashers and sausages. Or slower if, you, if, if you're more comfortable doing that. Now, a note about the... Um, the right hand pattern. Let's break that into two groups of three, two sets of triplets. So it's down, up, down. That's down, up, down, followed by another down, up, down. So in the middle there, you have two down strokes together. So very slowly, let's do that. Down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. Now this may take a little while to get used to, so go as slow as you want. Forget about your tempo for a little while, just get that pattern ingrained into your uh, right hand muscle memory. Down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. Faster it sounds like this. And with that double down um, stroke, you sort of emphasize the first beat of the next triplet, which gives uh, jigs a nice solid kind of a rhythm, and it gives it the kind of thing that you associate with the jig rhythm. So once more, nice and slow. Down, up, down, down, up, down. Rashers and sausages, rashers and sausages. Down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up down, down, up, down, or slower. Don't worry about going uh, too slow. There's no such thing as too slow. It's all about you getting comfortable uh, with uh, that pattern. So let's do it for a little while longer. Down, up, down, 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 down, up, down. Now, when you're comfortable doing that on one string, and I want you to stay on this until you are comfortable. So comfortable that you can talk while you're doing it. We'll uh, move on to uh, using a chord and, and fanning out the spectrum of the 
the uh, guitar pick in your hand over a full chord. We're going to use a G chord, so let's move on to that now. <laughs> 